Love it. $23. Do so you guys have um any NFC go go Ben? Any whatever whatever Love it. $23. Do so you guys have um any NFC go go Ben? Any whatever whatever Love it. $23. Do so you guys have um any NFC go go Ben? Any whatever whatever This is a preview file. She's also raising questions about why her sister called a young man named Jack multiple times the night she was slain. At 2.26 a.m., Kaylee starts to call Jack. Kaylee calls Jack six times between 2.26 a.m. to 2.44 a.m. Gosh, I give you a lot of credit. For example, use only. good timeline on Kaylee and Maddie the night of um, from about 10 15 until um, shortly before 3 a.m. Olivia Gonzalez says she discovered at least six calls from her sister Kaylee's phone between 226 and 252 made to a boyfriend in the early morning of November 13th. Detectives now saying these phone calls are a part of their investigation. Kaylee's family is firmly standing behind that boyfriend. I know for an absolute fact that he is not a suspect. He is not suspicious. He is 100% innocent in this. Fine. This new information adding more insight to the police timeline before Kaylee Gonzalez, Madison Mogan, Zana Kernodal, and Ethan Chapin were stabbed multiple times, likely while sleeping by a Rambo-style knife. Kaylee and Madison were last seen at this food truck, moments later leaving with a rideshare driver. Police now saying they do not believe that driver is involved. Police now also releasing this map that is part of the latest search area around the home and asking for new surveillance video. This TikTok showing Kaylee, Madison and Zana inside just weeks before. The two surviving roommates also in the video. We are blurring their faces because police have not identified.